Hello, I'm Aner Kushnir, VP of Technology at AlgoSec, and today I'm going to demonstrate the AlgoSec and Cisco ACI integration. Before we get going, just a few words on AlgoSec. Security today is all about driving your business. Our unique approach to security policy management helps make some of the world's largest and most complex organizations more agile, more secure, and more compliant. Through a single pane of glass, AlgoSec provides holistic visibility across the entire network security infrastructure, including business applications and their connectivity flows, on-premise and across SDN and private or public cloud architectures, and supporting all industry-leading security devices. With AlgoSec, you can proactively analyze risk from the business perspective, intelligently automate time-consuming security changes, and enhance them with business context, and also tie vulnerabilities and cyber threats to critical business processes, all with zero touch and seamlessly orchestrated across any heterogeneous environment. AlgoSec seamlessly integrates with Cisco ACI to enhance security policy visibility and deliver change, risk, and compliance management for next generation data centers. AlgoSec incorporates the Cisco APIC configurations, applications, contracts, filters, and DPGs with the underlying firewall configurations of Cisco's as well as other vendors' security devices, both inside the ACI fabric and outside, to provide full end-to-end -end security visibility. In addition, AlgoSec greatly enhances Cisco ACI's automation capabilities and extends policy change automation to all other firewalls and routers, both inside and outside the data center. AlgoSec also enforces compliance through every security policy change to ensure that the organization is agile, continuously compliant, and secure. Now let's see the integration in action. Okay, so we talked about visibility before. Now let's see how easy it is to find all the rules in all the policies related to some network we're interested in. I'll just click on the policy tab and search for the 100 network, for example. Now I can see that this network appears both in the Cisco ACI contracts under this uh, EPG inside, and also in uh, many rules within one of the underlying firewalls. Switching to the Changes tab, we can see information about changes to configuration either to the ACI itself, the contracts and EPGs, or to the underlying firewalls uh, in this data center. This will allow us to make sure everything stays in sync and there are no out-of-band changes. Now let's have a look at risk and compliance. So looking at the latest report on the Cisco ACI, I can now see some information about risks. This uh, analysis is based on a risk profile, in this case the out-of-the-box uh, built-in uh, risk profile based on industry best practices, but it can also be customized according to your own uh, needs and policy. So in this case we can see here a risk about FTP entering the network, Drilling down into it will reveal some more information about why this is considered risky and some more details about the exact contracts that are causing this risk to be raised. We also have a regulatory compliance tab where we can see some pre-filled compliance reports of all the main uh, regulatory compliance standards from the different industries. So for example, the PCI compliance report will hold a template, a pre-filled report with the different PCI requirements and their status for this ACI configuration. This can save many, many hours of preparation for compliance audits. Now let's talk about change automation. One of the great values of ACI is the ability to quickly deploy new applications or extend existing ones or easily move payloads around, etc. But what about the firewalls? Let's see how AlgoSec can close the loop and automate that part too. So this is my ACI environment. Under this tenant, uh, ASProd1, I have created the billing application. This application has two servers and some clients connecting to the web server. And let's say we want to create some new connectivity in this application from the web server into the app server. So let's create this change in AlgoSec. We'll create a new change request. And let's choose the right networks for this change request. 
Alternatively, I could use predefined names or the EPG names from ACI itself. And let's say we need to port to 135. And we'll create a change request. Note that I created this uh, change request from the UI, but alternatively I could have uh, uploaded a CSV file with a list of flows or used the APIs AlgoSec provides. Okay, so I see that AlgoSec has detected that the ACI uh, is relevant for this change and needs to be updated, specifically the ASProd1 tenant. In this case, it was an internal east-west traffic change. If it was something external, then probably some parameter firewalls would have also been picked. Let's continue with that. And now, before actually committing the change, AlgoSec will perform a risk check to verify that the requested change adheres to the, to the pre-approved security policy, including either out-of-the-box uh, best practices or a customized company security policy. In this case, we can see that the port we chose, 135, is considered risky. It's uh, MSRPC, and it's, it's considered a risk even with, between internal networks. We will choose to approve it anyway in this case. Next step is to implement the change. AlgoSec now calculates how exactly this change needs to be implemented, whether something needs to be changed on the ACI itself, and how. And we can see that uh, a work order was generated. Apparently we need to create a new filter for the TCP-135 uh, port. And we also need to add a new contract under this uh, tenant. And this new contract will use the existing uh, web EPG as the consumer and the existing app EPG as the provider and uh, of course utilize our newly created filter and as the next step I will hit implement on device and now AlgoSec will go ahead and push this change to APIC uh, via the northbound APIs okay implementation is incomplete let's have a look and back to our APIC here we can see the newly created contract it's using our newly created filter on TCP-135, allowing access from the web server to the application server. Note that I did all this step-by-step uh, step just to show the different parts of the workflow, but in reality this can be defined as a zero-touch workflow where everything is happening automatically within minutes, and it will only stop in case some predefined condition was met, things like a high risk was detected, so before implementing the change, you want someone to manually approve it or something of that nature. Also note that if other firewalls were involved in the process, either within the data center or on the perimeter or potentially cloud security groups, those would have been picked by AlgoSec as well. And similarly, changes would have been pushed to their management as well. And with that, we will conclude our demonstration. Thank you.